Good day everyone, I'm going to discuss the basic rules in news writing. What is feature story and feature story versus news story? The first one is the basic rules in news writing. In writing news, it takes practice to write an effective news story. So here are 12 simple rules you can follow to help you. The first one, decide what the news is. Focus on the part of your story that is likely to be of most interest to your readers. Stories become news because of their importance, emotion, impact, timeliness, and interest to the reader. Because the more people involved, the more newsworthy the story. Likewise, the more people affected, whether it's by campus, car parking, charges, or a pay award for the staff, the more newsworthy the story is. Also, news is what's new. Time is of the essence. So, what's the news today probably won't be news in a few days, unless there are major new developments. For instance, the crime cases. The second one is who, what, where, when, why, and how. Include information that answers these questions within the headline and the first two paragraphs. Try to get as many of the W's into the first lead paragraph as possible. For instance, the first line could be Sara de la Cruz who presented degree certificates for the first time what at this week's when summer graduation ceremony in the university were. We use four W's to be our headline in the news. Third, news first, background later. Tell the best bits and the new bits first. The background to the story should come later. Don't try and tease your reader into getting to the end of your article by withholding information. Which story will make sense if someone read only the first two lines? Or even just a headline, it should, because it shows the that the reader is interested on your story. The fourth one is be objective and stick to facts. The reporting voice in the story should contain only facts. Any opinions or subjective description should be attributed to a named source. For instance, do not write the event was a great success and led to a pleasing increase in application. Who says it was a success? Who is pleased? Instead, we should be right. Dr. Jones said the event went well. It was a great success and I am pleased since it took place. We have had a number of new applicants. Keep it simple and short. New story should be no more than 400 words long and preferably 250 to 300 words long. You need to write in an engaging way but still include all the important acts. Don't include too many flowery words on the new story because it should be punchy. If something is essential to the story, do not include it. For instance, for text to be easily readable at speed, write in a short sentence which think 25 words or fewer and you should be used a simple language. Use plain English and not academic or technical jargon. Assume no prior knowledge, some people find it helpful to imagine that they are explaining the story to a relative who doesn't work in a higher education. Acronyms Universities are full of acronyms. And especially if you have worked in a sector a long time, it can be easy to forget that not everyone will understand what they mean. Always spell out an acronym the first time it is used, followed by the acronym itself in a parenthesis. From then on, in your story, you may use the acronym. For instance, Universidad de Manila, open parenthesis, UDM, close parenthesis, Organize the event. That should be. The seventh one is the house style. The university has a house style, a consistent way of writing that is part of your brand. Having a house style helps to convey an impression of quality and thoroughness no matter who is writing or editing. Exclamation marks is prohibited. Do not use 
do not use an exclamation marks because it tends to misinterpret what you are go what you are saying. Do not use I or we. Readers will easily know who wrote a news article, so don't talk about yourself or your team in the first person. Always name individuals. Even if that person is you or you need names mentioned in your piece, never say we held a head lecture. Instead, say the news history department held a lecture. Write a great headline. Many news writers argue that the headline is the single most important part of a news story because research research shows that on average of 80% of people read only headlines and then skip the rest of the story. For this reason, you need to make sure that yours is clear, conscience, and tells your story using just a 4 to 8 words. What is the minimum information that you want a skim reader to know? Easy. It may find easiest to write the headline last. This way, you can try taking your first line and trying to, to take it back so it's bare bones. Cut out unnecessary words and shortened phrases. For instance, lead to improvement becomes improves. It is not an easy skill and takes practice, but it is worth spending time on getting it right. Don't pan in a headline unless it explains your story better than plain English. Puns are fun for the writer, but can muddy the water and are not always universally understood, particularly those using cultural and geographical specific references. Choose clarity over cleverness particularly when writing online news. Think pictures. A good photo or other image to accompany your story is a great way to reinforce and complement your news. When you are writing your story, always think of how you could illustrate the story with a picture. Does it make sense? Yes. It helps people to, to think or to imagine the actual the actual explanation of yours and the last one is check your work even if a headline is really tight still take the time to check chances chances you will spot at least one mistake every time make sure that your text has no spelling mistakes including names or any errors with grammar or punctuation then read it over again asking yourself are things explained in order? Is it as easy as possible to understand? Is it accurate? Have you repeated yourself? Are any ideas or phrases covered twice? Is it written in plain English? Are all dates and numbers correct? If you wrote the article, get someone else to talk over it for you. You might also want to, to, to run it by any individuals or unit names mentioned the piece. So let us now go to the feature story. First things first, what is feature story? Feature story, a newspaper or magazine article or report of a person, event, an aspect of a major event, or the like. Often having a personal slant and written in an individual style. Compare follow-up, hard news, news story, the main of the main or most prominent story in a magazine. Ask most people what a feature story is, and they'll say of something soft and puffy, written for the arts or passion sector of a newspaper or website. But the truth is, features can be about any subject, from the fluffiest lifestyle piece to the toughest investigative report. And features are not just found in the back pages of the paper. The ones that focus on things like home decor and music reviews. In fact, features are found in every section of the paper, from news to business to sports. If you go through a typical newspaper from front to back on any given day, chances are the majority of stories will be written in a feature-oriented style. The same is true on most 
news websites. So, we know what features aren't, but what are they? Feature stories are not defined so much by any subject matter, as they are by the style in which they are written. In other words, any written in a feature-oriented way is a feature story. So, here are the characteristics that distinguish feature story from hard news. The first one is the lead. A feature lead doesn't have to have the who, what, where, when, and why in the very first paragraph, the way a hard news lead does. Instead, a feature lead can use description or an anecdote to set up the story. A feature lead can also run for several paragraphs instead of just one. The pace. Feature story often employ a more leisurely pace than new stories. Feature take the time to tell a story instead of rushing through it the way new stories often seem to. So in the pace, the writer can explain the detailed information about the feature story. Length. Length taking more time to tell a story means using more space, which is many features are usually though not always longer than news article. So length is a very important part because we will know how our how our article long and how it should be done. Focus on the human element. If new stories tend to focus on events, then features tend to focus more on the people. Features are designed to bring the human element into the picture, which is why many editors call feature story as people stories. So for example, if a hard news story recounts how a thousand people are being laid off from a local factory, the feature might focus and just one of those prefers portraying their emotional turmoil, grief, anger, fear, at losing their job. So, this is new story versus feature story. A good set of article writing tips must explain the difference between a new story and a feature story. Because a news article and a feature article are two different kinds of content, but plenty of writers confuse them, and, and that's a no-no. Both news articles and feature articles are standard fare in the magazines, newspaper, newsletters, and yes, blogs. So don't want to deliver a full-fledged feature when your client, an editor, or a publication asks for a news story, and vice versa. So here is the gist. A news story exports the facts about an event, while a feature story explains the significance of an event. It offers analysis. Use this additional article writing tips to get the mechanics straight as you write new story and feature stories. Actually writing tips. Writing a new story versus writing a feature story. Timing. A news article is time-sensitive and of immediate interest. For instance, think about election results, an accident, a robbery report, a product launch, a court verdict, a medical report release, a set of basketball game scores, while a feature article can be published at any point. Its content is often evergreen or at least lasting. Content. A news article reports the facts about who, what, where, when, why, and how. It is written in a straightforward, concise reporting style. So, the feature article is a human interest story about a person, event, or place rather than simply summarizing the subject. Also, a feature article highlights one aspect or significance of the story. It is also 
less formal style. It may take an odd twist or heartwarming angle. Structure A new story is structured in the invert pyramid format with key facts at the beginning of the article. This way, the reader can get basic information in the first or first sentence or two, while the feature story allows the subject matter to determine its format, whether in the standard outline form, such as a list, sequence, or comparison, or one of the seven main story formats. As for the subject matter feature, can cover and these topics from profiles to narratives, interviews, essays, exposes, hows to columns, and reviews. Length News articles are short, averaging 100 to 400 words, depending upon the type of the news and where it is placed in the publication. They are meant to be digested quickly. So, because the news is the important part of the headline. While the feature articles are longer and dig more deeply into the topic, length varies for each publication but the typical feature word count runs between 1,000 to 2,000 words. New Story New story is also a broadly speaking, a new story is about something that is timely, that it is happening today, tomorrow, or next week. An event change or breakthrough occurs and due to its importance or triability in some cases, it is deemed to be newsworthy. These public relations examples show, show you what makes you the great. Think of a product, product launch, a court case, an election, a crime occurring, a riot breaking out, a politician saying something rough, a company winning an award, and if you want to know how to write a press release or for an event, knowing what makes news is critical. The list of what makes his stories is endless, but here are a few recent examples. Woman, 100. Mary's partner of 30 years. Floating pipe to clean up plastic in the ocean. When identifying new story about business, you need to have something that hits one of the following criteria. Something genuinely new about your business, a real innovation you have de develop something utterly remarkable about you and your business, how you are disrupting your market, and the first in some way. And remember, what's considered newsworthy for the times will be different to the mashable, sewing monthly, or whatever your target is, even if it is just how to get a story on the local news. News Story New stories are much more effective, reflective, and examine current trends pattern. Features is awareness, taste, mark an anniversary, or take a more in-deep look at the current news story. Features can usually include case studies to highlight a particular point that is being made or an issue being discussed. They align much more like play closely with these sorts of marketing. Ideas for small businesses and can be part of an influencer marketing campaign. If you want to know more about those, those have a look at your pick of the best marketing books. Nowadays, you will see journalists using Twitter to find a particular case study for a feature they are working. Feature writers are usually working to longer deadlines than the news story writers, so they have a bit more time to consider if you are 
write for their story. A feature is also much longer than in the story. As I'm saying earlier, it usually around 2,000 words but can be much more. Journalists are often looking for decent features idea so if you think you have one, share it. A feature article also includes a lot of opinions and comments so don't be afraid to share your views. Remember, no reporter wants blunt page quotes. Unlike a news story, a feature is not just about the facts. Yes, these are important, but a decent feature writer brings color and description, much more so than in news, to hold the attention of the reader. Help the writer to paint a picture with a brilliant case study and granular background detail. For instance, if you are a bit unsure, here's the final headline tip new story for instance the first flying car launched by tesla while in the news in the feature story it should be will flying cars change the way we commute so that's it for today